back in the day when disaster recovery was starting to make their way into MSPs a good few years ago, we looked at what solutions were out there. You know, you had things like Datto and Datto appliances and all of this stuff. And, and we looked at it and we thought, well, okay, those products do exist. But you as an MSP, where you are interested in keeping your cost base down, but also looking for bomb-proof products, okay, if you had to go and buy something off the shelf, like a data product, it is very expensive. Our preference is not necessarily to have a particular appliance in place. The name of the game when it comes to backups for us is uh, dynamic. We want that solution to be as dynamic as possible and not necessarily tied to <clears throat> a particular appliance. We want it to be as versatile as we can to uh, apply to any and every environment that we're gonna come across, but at the same time to give us a lot of options um, in, in terms of recovery. It's one more piece of hardware to manage, just a lot more overhead. You know, for a client with maybe five servers, it's just too much overhead logistically. And, and scalability, when you're talking about dealing with over 50 companies, you're adding 50 BDRs. That's 50 more servers you have to patch and maintain and keep track of. It just doesn't make sense for us, for us at least, so. Not to, to, to knock any one particular product, but we see this quite often in in uh, products that have you know on on site storage. You know, Datto, you know, being one of them, Chronos being another, where a customer will come to you and say, "Hey, I've got these additional servers that I want you to back up, and they weren't part of the original scope." Uh, and now all of a sudden, you realize that you're going to run out of space. <laughs> and of course, being an <laughs> IT person, you say, "Yeah, I'm sure we can make that happen." However, we're going to have to drop your retention. And then, you know, a few months pass, customer comes in and says, I need to be able to restore a file from three months ago. And you say, well, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And you get yourself into a very difficult position um, with that. And that was one of the key things that really was, was nice to hear was that um, cloud first backup model. I, I can't tell you how many times we've had issues where the primary appliance experiences a failure, corruption, or some sort of issue that in turn has caused a problem with the replication site uh, as well. And, and at that point, we've lost effectively both sets of, of backup data. And that's the worst conversation you ever want to try to have with a client.